Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn about radian measure. A radian is a unit of measure for angles. We, we have grown up in the United States learning about degrees and this is just a different unit of measure. So I'm going to explain where it comes from. So one radian is the angle made at the center of a circle by an arc whose length is equal to the radius of the circle. This is called a radian. So let's see what that means. Okay, I'm going to take my highlighter here and I'm going to just draw the length of the radius. So there's the length of our radius. If I took that and I stretched it out on the curve of the circle, that would be the same length as the radius. So that is the angle that's now created with the other radius at the center is now a radian. So that is one radian met up as an angle measure. Now, how many radians are in a circle? So you got to think, well, how many radiuses would it take to go around? So if you take this length and you copy it, and you stretch it out. Well, it's going to be really hard to do, but I can kind of do this and stretch it out. Whoops, I moved the wrong thing. There we go. And I stretched it out in the curve. That would give me a second one. Well, I'm not going to try that again. Let's keep going. I'm going to draw a third one, which would bring me down to about here. And then a fourth one. And then a fifth one and then a sixth one, and then there's a little gap here, okay? So it takes a little bit more than six radians. So a little bit more than six radians. So where does that come from? Well, what do we know about the circumference of a circle? It's equal to two pi times the radius. Well, two pi is just two times 3.14, which is equal to 6.28. So if our radius happens to be 1, we can just multiply that by 1, and we get 6.28. So it takes 6.28 radiuses to create the circle. So really, it just takes 2 pi to go all the way around the circle, that is 2 pi. So that means 360 degrees, because we're used to measuring in degrees, is the same as 2 pi. So they're equivalent to each other. One's just in degrees and one's in radians. Well, I could reduce that to 180 and pi being the same values. So that represents this position because halfway around the circle would have to be pi. So we use this ratio, 180 degrees is equal to pi, to convert from radians to degrees and to degrees to radians. And to do that, we're going to use dimensional analysis and we're going to use the proportion either 180 degrees over radians or radians, which radians, I'm sorry, pi over 180, where pi represents this 3.14 as a decimal, which is a radian measure. Now let's try to convert a couple. So we're going to start by going, converting from degrees to radians. Now anytime in a dimensional analysis, we're going to take what we're given, which is 120 degrees, and we want to multiply it by one of our equivalent ratios. Now, we want radians and we want to get rid of degrees. So what we want to get rid of, we actually put on the bottom. So our unit of measure will cancel out. So we put 180 degrees on the bottom and a pi on top. Now, notice that when we multiply across, the degrees are going to cancel. So that unit of measure is going to cancel. Um, so I'm going to get 120 pi all over 180. 
Now this reduces nicely. I can divide by 10 by just canceling my zeros out and then divide by six. So I'm gonna get two pi thirds. And there is my radian measure, two pi thirds. Now, if I wanna convert from radians to degrees, I'm gonna multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm gonna use this proportion. What I want is on top, I'm switching to degrees. When I got what I want to get rid of is on the bottom and that's pi radians. So let's cancel the pi's out, top and bottom, and we end up with five times 180 all over four. Now I can multiply it out, but I'm gonna work smart. I'm just gonna go ahead and divide 180 by four, and that's five times 45, and that ends up being 225 degrees. And there is my answer in degrees. And that's how you convert from degrees to radians or radians to degrees. And this is what a radian measure and why we use that proportion. I hope this video was helpful.